Hey guys, SSR here. So we've had our potatoes in there in the uh, pantry room. They've been in a box. It's cool and dry in there. Let me turn this light down. You might even say cold. It's been pretty chilly in there. No heat. So what I'm going to do is show you how I did it one year, but... Um, they weren't sprouting out the last time or the year that I did them and had really good luck. So and now there's sprouts on them and you can kind of see where the eyes are and where they're going to grow. So if I was going to make seeds out of these, which I am, you would take them and just cut them like so. Now whether that's got an eye on it or not, I don't know. That's got a couple eyes on it, so does that one. So, this one here's got a couple eyes on it. And if you do this now, it gives them a chance to kind of harden out those... Uh, this the meat side or whatever um, it'll dry and then they won't rot so that's all I'm gonna do is just cut these up like this where maybe I get maximum seeds out of them it's not real hard to do not a lot of science involved in it and real good possibility we got eyes in all of those some of them you see some of them you can't go right down the middle here like that and this will make a lot of potatoes There's two of them so far. And I got 10 pounds of these potatoes. And I don't remember exactly what kind they were. I mentioned it in another video what they were. But I have since forgotten. So. And you might find some you like best. And it's good to plant the ones you like obviously but if it comes right down to just having something to eat you probably like any of them but we got some red potatoes and um, we got like three different varieties and I'm just chopping them up in chunks like that and trying if I if they've got eyes on them and I can see them then I'll separate them a little bit And uh, we'll see how the garden turns out together this year. Hopefully, uh, we'll get lots of potatoes. And I've got about 10 pounds of these to do of each variety. So there's 30 pounds of potatoes to cut up to make seeds out of. Now, whether I got a, an eye in that one or not, I don't know. But... We will know eventually. Like I said, it's a pretty simple process. I don't know how they do it. Well, when you get seed potatoes, they come whole. And then if you want to chop them up and make more. I noticed we had some potatoes in there in the kitchen in the bag that are growing. It's got eyes on them. And I was kind of wondering about those. I think they would probably, you could probably plant those. The only difference I know of between seed potatoes and regular potatoes is they don't really, they don't wash seed potatoes. And they tell you not to do that anyway when you harvest your potatoes. Don't wash them. Just put them up 
like that and I was fixing to cut right through that the eye of that one so I kind of stopped myself but uh, so if you're gonna save some of them for seed after you grow them just leave them with the dirt on them take them out get them out of the ground and uh, leave them with the dirt on them and let them set out for a little bit let them dry out on the outside and that's about it then put them up keep them in a cool dry place and I'm sure they'll make more potatoes like these smaller ones I just cut them in half but no big science just try to get you an eye on them if you can see them I think I might have planted them too deep that one year too but they still did all right actually they did good so this year I might not plant them as deep but I got a, a tractor this year to help me first time I did them I did it all by hand with a shovel quite a bit of work did it by hand healing them up another thing I did too um, that might help you out is I uh, went and got a big round bell of hay and I covered them all with a bell of hay and I think that kept the weeds down a lot Just trying to get eyes on each one of them now that one right there's got four eyes on it <coughs> do I know what I'm doing heck no but we'll see it's just kind of how I was told that how you get more seeds If you can see them eyes on there growing and you know you're gonna have sprouts there I don't know how many potatoes was in there probably 15 20 but uh, I know that uh, one year I planted three or four rows that were about a hundred feet long and I had we had more potatoes than we could eat that made a lot of potatoes but I had the grandkids out there and we had a blast digging them up they were out there eating raw potatoes and just wiped the dirt off of them and ate them they were some smaller ones that were pretty good just like that right out of the ground got a couple more to go here I don't see any other eyes on it. 
I don't see no other eyes on this one either, but I'm going to, maybe an eye right there. I cut right through that one. I don't know if it'll keep growing or not. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. We'll, we'll do this together. Whoa, did you see that? Flip that knife right out of there. Right out of my hand. Right into the floor. See how many more I've got to go here. So, just a few more here. About four. Small one like this might just quarter it up and I heard another guy saying that they planted them with the uh, sprouts sticking up Find a few more in here. and he said it didn't seem to make any difference whether they planted them with the sprouts up or down or whatever and I'm thinking it probably doesn't because they're going to find their way up however you do it now these were uh, 80, 89 cents a pound here where I live I don't know how much they'll be everywhere but they shouldn't be that expensive Just quarter this one like so. All that starch coming out of there. Yeah, call that one good. So this is the last one I think and I might I don't want to do this I'm trying to cut around the eyes to save as many of them as possible on one well that one's got a bunch We'll see. We haven't had to go back and get some more, more seeds. I screwed these all up. But I doubt it. So, this is what they're going to look like now. Just all chopped up. So that's probably enough for, if you plant these ever 10 inches or... 12 inches apart, you know, uh, and they all make, that's a pretty good row of potatoes right there. So we'll see. Um, we got any potato farmers out there that has done this a bunch of times. Let me know if I just screwed up all my seeds. I always appreciate uh, um, advice. So just holler at me and let me know I messed them all up. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Thank you and God bless.